Hi everyone, I'm Christina with the Area Agency on Aging 5 County and today I have a friend joining me from APS. Hi, my name is Kate Nance. Um, I am with Adult Protective Services and one of our missions is to protect people from financial exploitation, older adults. Um, so I'm here to talk about uh, scams that are popping up in response to the coronavirus. So Kate, do people need to be more concerned about scams right now? Yes. So scams are something we always need to be cautious of, but scammers are really aggressive um, in disasters and emergency situations. So they're constantly trying to come up with new scams and the coronavirus is giving them just the opportunity they need. Um, so we need to be really vigilant. Um, so they can scam you in a number of ways uh, through a text coming door to door, you know, a pop-up ad, uh, really common ways, of course, are unsolicited phone calls and emails. Um, and one thing I do want to make you aware of is you have to be really careful not to simply trust the caller ID on your phone. Um, scammers can do something called spoofing an email address or a phone number, which means they make it look like it's coming from a reputable organization like Medicare or the Centers for Disease Control, when really it's a scam call. So you just always have to be, remember not to trust your caller ID or an email address. Are there any specific examples that you're seeing right now? Yes, there's actually quite a few. So there's a lot of scams um, around the coronavirus itself. So offering a vaccine or a test kit or a treatment. So a lot of times a scammer will call, um, they may claim that they're from, they represent Medicare and offer you a test kit or other supplies or a vaccine, something like that. Um, then they'll request your Medicare number, your credit card number and other personal information. So remember, just because they say they're from the government and even if the phone numbers, the caller ID says it, it doesn't mean they are. Um, you want to be really wary of unsolicited phone calls and emails right now. Um, just don't give out any personal information. I think the best thing you can do um, to keep on top of what cures and treatments are out there is to go um, to a website, website like cdc.gov and get the latest information there. Um, you may also receive unsolicited phone calls um, offering you health insurance at a really low price. Um, often these are simply discount programs, which is not a substitute for actual health insurance. So if you're tempted, make sure you request a copy of the policy and the statements of benefits. Um, make sure you compare prices with other insurers too. If the rates are significantly lower, it's probably a scam. Uh, scammers are also tar targeting the economic impact payments we're gonna be receiving from the IRS. So remember that most payments will come automatically and you don't have to do anything to receive it. So if someone is offering to expedite your payment or assist you with getting it, it's probably a scam. Um, and you can get the best information about the economic impact payment by going to irs.gov forward slash coronavirus. Um, there's also a lot of charity scamming going on right now. So uh, scammers are really preying on our desire to help during this time. So you may get a call um, asking you to donate to medical workers or to coronavirus relief. Um, oftentimes these will sound like legitimate charities, maybe one you've even donated to before. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're independently verifying before you're donating. I think the best thing you can do is to call the charity itself through a trusted number, like out of the phone book, not the one the scammer gives you, um, and call them, make sure it's legitimate and you can make your donation that way. Um, another thing to watch for right now is price gouging. Um, there's a lot of in-demand items like toilet paper and hand sanitizer that are very hard to come by. So if you see something that's really marked up to a high price, please do not purchase it. That is price gouging and it is illegal. Um, there have also been a lot of people trying, they can't find, um, you know, high demand items. So they'll go to a website they've never heard of before and buy it there. Um, a lot of times what happens is they take your payment and then the items never ship. So just make sure you're purchasing from reputable websites and sellers that you know and trust. 
finally, um, be aware that there are some investment schemes going around about coronavirus cures or products. So we'll tell you, you know, I've got the inside track on this medication to it, and we could make a lot of money if you invest. So do your own research in writing. Um, and remember, anytime someone guarantees you um, big returns, it's usually, it's a red flag for scams. So if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Thanks for sharing that, Kate. And I guess the final question would be, what's the bottom line? How can we protect ourselves from these scams during this time? Yeah, there are so many simple ways that you can protect yourself. Um, don't answer unsolicited phone calls. Just let them go to voicemail. Um, if you do pick up and it sounds like a robocaller, don't engage with them or press buttons because that'll usually lead to more calls. Um, don't click on pop-up ads. Be really wary of unsolicited emails as well. Um, anyone who wants you to act now or puts a lot of pressure on you or makes an offer that sounds too good to be true, those are all warning signs as well. Um, the biggest bit of advice we can give though is never to give your personal information out over the phone or via email. Um, this includes your social security number, your Medicare number, your credit card information, your birthday, all of that stuff. Um, finally, I would just say ignore the rumors that you're hearing from friends or on social media and make sure you're getting your information from good government websites or good reputable news sources. So we are going to include a list of resources um, that you can call if you think you are a victim of a scam. Um, also, there are a couple of resources that you can call if you aren't sure if something is a scam and you would like more information. So the National Elder Fraud Hotline and the United States Special Committee, Committee on Aging Hotline are both places you can call to get advice um, whether something is is a scam or not. Thank you so much for joining us today, Kate, and sharing that valuable information. We hope that it's helpful for everyone and we appreciate you being here. Yes, thank you, Christina. We hope to see you more in the future. And like Kate said, we will attach those list, that list of resources. And if you have any questions, you can get in touch with us at the Area Agency on Aging 5 County at 435-673-3548. Thanks everyone.